Welcome back to part 6 of our VPC playlist. So in this video we are going to learn what is Bastian host. So let's start. So now let's talk about what is Bastian host. So we can also say Bastian host as a jumping server. So first of all we have a VPC here and we have two different subnets present in our VPC. We have a public subnet and we have a private subnet here. So in the private subnet, we have our private Linux instance instances and the security group associated to it. And in the public subnet, we have our bastion host and we have the security group of the bastion host. So the main reason why we use bastion host is that we can SSH into our private Linux instances through the bastion host. So these are the bastion host host users and we are going to SSH into the private Linux instances using the bastion host. So let's learn something more about it. So to SSH into our private EC2 instance we can use bastion host. So as I told that we can SSH into our private instances using the bastion host. The next is bastion host is created in public subnet. So yes, the bastion host is created in the public subnet and then it is connected to all the private subnets. So it is created in the public subnet and it is connected to all the Linux uh, private instances. Security group of bastion host must allow inbound from the internet port 22 from restricted cyber. Security group of EC2 instance must allow security group of the bastion host means private IP of the bastion host. So in short we use bastion host to SSH into our private instances. Right? The, the users are going to log in into the bastion host and from the bastion host we are going to SSH our private instances and we are going to ping it. So now let's move on to the hands on of the bastion host and let's create it and let's SSH it into our private EC2 instance using the bastion host. So let's go. So now we are going to start with the demo of our bastion host. So as we know, using the bastion host, we can SSH into our private instance, which is created into our private subnet. Right. So now we are going to create a private instance and we are going to SSH into it through this EC2 instance. So we are going to name this EC2 instance as the bastion host. So let's do that bastion host, right? So through this EC2 instance, we are going to SSH into our private instance, which we are going to create in next few seconds. Right. So first of all, before creating the private instance, let's go to the key pairs and create one key pair. That would be more good. Right. So let's click on create key pair and let's name the key pair as demo key pair. We'll keep as dot pm. Right. And let's create the key pair okay so the key pair is created successfully now let's go to the instances part and let's launch our private instance into our private subnet so let's click on launch instance and here we are going to take os image as amazon linux only the instance type will be by default whatever we'll get in our free trial we are eligible for let's choose our key pair which we have created which is demo key pair and now here is the main part here are the network settings we have to change the network settings right so let's click on the edit button and here we have to choose our demo vpc which we have created so click on demo vpc and here we are going to choose private subnet A, right? We can also choose private subnet B, but we are going with private subnet A as we want to create our EC2 instance into our private subnet, right? So we have selected the private subnet and now we also want the security group, but we will change the name, right? As this is a private SD, so we'll name it as private SD, which is private security group. Next, we are going to also change the inbound security group as we want to SSH it only from the bastion host so we will give your source type as custom and we are going to choose your security group of our bastion host which is sd 
and here is the security group of our bastion host which is launch wizard 1 so click it so let's say that it will allow ssh from the bastion host which we have created only from the bastion host which we have created okay so we have added the rule which is custom and we have added security group here of our bastion host right and we have also added a description here okay so that's great after all default settings, we are going to take it as it is. And now let's launch our private instance. Let's wait till the instance is created. So here is our private instance created. So now let's name it as private instance. Let's say private instance and let's save it. Okay, so we have created our bastion host and our private instance. So now here we are going to connect to our bastion host and from the bastion host we are going to do the SSH to our private instance. Right, so first of all let's see the details of our private instance. We have the IP address and we have all the details here of our private instance. So now let's go to the bastion host, let's connect to it and let's SSH. Uh, our private instance from the bastion host so let's click on connect and here we'll select ec2 instance connect only now let's click on connect so let's wait let's get connected okay so we are connected successfully here so now we have to ssh here to our private instance right so let's give the command which is SSH EC2 hyphen user at the rate we have to choose uh, not users only user and we have to choose our private IP of our private instance. So let's go to the private instance and copy the IP of it and let's paste it here. Okay, so we have pasted the IP. Okay, so let's give the at the rate sign here and SSH, it's not EX2, EC2 at the rate hyphen user at the rate our private IP of the private instance. Right, so now let's click enter here and let's say yes. Okay, so we are not getting the permission as we have not added our demo key pair here so first of all we have to create a demo key pair dot pem file here so let's say we are creating that using the vi editor so let's say vi and let's give the name demo key pair dot em so let's click it and now we have to copy the demo key pair part here so let's open our demo key pair Control A and Control C. Let's copy and let's paste it here. Right. So we have pasted our whole demo key here. So now let's save the file as colon wq and let's save it. Okay. So let's once cat and check that file. It's properly done or not. And it will. Okay. So our file is your right this is demo keypair.pem so our file is created properly so now we have to change the mode of it right otherwise it will not be accessible it will, it will be restricted so let's give ch mode 0400 to our demo keypair.pem right so we have changed it right now we have to ssh into our private instance so this is the bastion host right and now we are going to ssh from the bastion host to our private instance so let's clear the screen first and now let's ssh into our private ec2 instance so let's give the command as ssh ec2 hyphen user at the rate we have to go to the private instance and again copy the IP okay so let's paste it here and we have to give the demo key pair name here so it is demo and let's do a tab here okay so demo key pair dot pm file we have to suggest this we have to add this so now let's click enter 
and let's see we are able okay we are able to ssh into a private instance from our bastion host so we can see that this is the private instance ip which is 10.0.19.35 so it is allowing us to ssh into our private host so this is how uh, bastion host can be a jumping server and we can ssh our private instance from our public instance which is the bastion host right so in the private instance we don't have yet the internet accessibility so let's check it will not give any ping to us right because it is not having right it is not having any internet accessibility so it will not give us so in next video we'll see that how to provide internet access uh, to our private instance so that's it for the video this is how we can access this into our private instance from the bastion host so meeting you in the next video